Hello, this is Tsukihime. Uh, welcome back to my Let's Play of Spore, the uh, carnivore, uh, I guess I'd call it the carnivore run. Um, it's been a while. I basically wanted to wait because I wanted to uh, see what what my subscribers wanted to uh, add to the, to the Spore experience. Unfortunately, they didn't add anything, so I'm going to have to just wing it for now. Let's see. First we load up. And then I make sure I'm recording, because I don't want to be talking to myself. I'm supposed to be talking to my viewers, not myself. Uh, anyway, uh, last time I did a little bit of exploring, and I managed to claim a couple of these really, really good spots. Um, in the interim, I was able to, while I was off, while I, was, I wasn't recording, I was actually trading... I was getting spice from here and here and selling it here because it turned out this planet that I'm inhabiting in here actually really, really likes spice. The red spice, the cheap stuff. So, yeah. Alright, um, what was I going to do this episode? Ah, right. I'm going to, first off... I have three gas giants in this one. Yeah. I'd like to take this planet just because it's already it's already terraformed to T1. Oh yeah, um, this is one of those uh, I think it's called a storybook planet or something. I happened upon it by accident, but uh, this is a storybook planet or something like that. Like you see, you can kind of tell because of the the weird land shapes, it's like all these uh, croissant shapes and stuff like that, and swirls and shells and stuff. Yeah, I don't get it either, but yeah. Okay, so this is a storybook planet. I haven't uh, like my, in my other ser like in my other well, not really series, but the other uh, game that I'm playing, the the one I'm just playing by myself, without the viewers. Um, that one actually, I haven't I haven't really found very many for that one, and I find that really strange. I think. I think I'm going to actually make this a T1. So I didn't want to. I didn't want to do anything here until until I actually got, you know, until I got recording. Okay, filled out three ecosystems, and so now I get crop circles. Yeah. So every. Uh, so I'm getting badges and all that, and eventually I'll get promotions. And I think the only purpose for the promotions is to increase how many allies you can have with you. So, yeah. All right. Uh, well, looks like this place is already geared towards expanding, like going into T2. So I may as well help him out here. Atmosphere generator. Oh, geez, that's all needed. Congratulations, you've earned the title of Commodore. Oh great, I'm a Commodore 64. We're getting up there. The Allied fleet now has room for an additional ship. Yeah, that's uh, basically the only reason. Okay, so that's going. Uh, so I'm going to do this. And this. And this. And this is what I do. This is what I, this is what I do. My English is great. Uh, this is what I do whenever... Whenever I'm doing this, please don't go into T into T3. I'll be very upset if it goes into T3. That uh, doesn't look like it's going to. All right. Okay. Well, at least I got it. Like as long as you have three plants up here, you're probably going to be set. Like it's not going to go down to T1 again. Although I'm thinking this is going to go into T3. Please don't. Please don't. It's gonna go into T3, isn't it? Come on, don't do it. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I was just... Sorry, that was a tense moment. I didn't want that to go into... into T3. 
Because then I'd be in a mad rush trying to get all the par all the. Uh, actually, I should probably. No, actually, I'll I'll just claim this one. It might not sound like the best idea, but I'm gonna claim this one. Uh, let me see. I want to claim this one just because, well, it's purple spice, and purple spice is very valuable. Uh, people tell me to put, well, the, the instruct instructions on the game tells me to put this as close to as many spice as I can, but I've never noticed it change any anything when it comes to the production and such. But anyway, that one there is within the range of, range of four. And it, like I said, it does nothing. I don't know why. I don't know why they tell you to do that. Whoa, what was that? Okay. Alright, so... We got this uh, planetary system claimed. Phew. So this is basically what I've been doing. I've been just picking up picking up spice from everywhere. Picking up spice and then flying over here and selling it. But I don't think they're gonna buy it this time. Oh no, they're gonna they're gonna buy it for a lot. That's good. That's actually one of the most expensive uh well that's, that's the, I think that's one of the highest, if not the highest, amount they'll offer for red spice. Okay, so what's needed for this place anyway? Okay, so I need an atmospheric generator. And a... Uh, ice storm. Okay. I want to get this place into T1 as fast as I can. Like, this place here is priority. So this is uh this this is basically what I mean when I when I say this this part got really boring really fast. Uh how how much Okay. I think I can make this into a T2 real quick. In that case, I'm going to fly back to my home planet. I wonder if they're ever going to make another version of Spore. I feel like they should now. Let's see, Colony and Credit Pack, lower terrain. I think all all these ones are just one-time purchases only. But that's if you want to. These are if you want to do terraforming. And I think this just makes tribes happier or something when they get into space age. I'm not sure. All right. Um. Well, it looks like the only thing I can actually buy is the drought generator and the atmosphere generator. So let's buy one of those. Okay. Let's see what kind of plants and stuff I have here, because I'm going to have to get some more. Actually. Mm, health, energy storage. Okay. Alright. Yeah, uh, like this pl this game was released in uh 2008 or something like that. Like it's been it's been a while, so I'm almost expecting a sequel to it. I'd really like there to be a sequel to it cuz like this this game is dated now. I mean, so saying it's still incredibly fun to play, but it's just like there's a lot of things that could be improved upon now. Okay, um I guess I'm gonna have to just take up a medium plant and a large plant. Let's see. There we go. Take up another few. All right. So I think we have enough. Oh, I think we have enough to make a. Uh, let me buy it! Oh, my cargo space is full. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, there's two purple spice geysers here and a pink. 
Okay, um... Hmm. Sorry about this, viewers. I'm just, just thinking again. Um, thinking I might need to have a second atmospheric generator. Well, in that case, I'm probably going to put another planet into T3. Probably, probably that one over here. Oh, hang on. What's the... Yes, I know. Uh... Yep, yep, yep. Okay. <laughs> uh, I don't know why it says you have no room to collect spice, because they're not going to gather any spice here. Atmosphere generator and a meteor shower. Would that... I don't think that'll do. Two. I think I'm going to go back over to this... Uh, what's the name of it? Upert... Up Upertia? Upert... You're pretty sad. There we go. <laughs> I have a hard time pronouncing. My words are not coming. Um, okay. Oh crap, I don't have any animals. Well, I can't use this place. Hmm. Well, this is a little bit of a issue, isn't it? I'm gonna have to do more trading. Well, I suppose this is another question I can give to the viewers. I'm going to sell something. Or jettison something. I'd probably do that. Now, the question to, uh, question I was going to ask the viewers, you guys, is uh, if you were... Oh, I can get rid of that one. If... If Maxis decides to make another... Another Spore game, what would you like to see in it? Like, there's a lot of things I'd like to see in it. For one, I'd like to see the the uh, stages that they were going to put in, and they didn't do it because I was actually looking up a little bit on the whole the whole spore thing, and uh, turned out they actually had to remove a lot of the uh, stages. So, like between the uh, the cell stage and the creature stage, there was supposed to be an aquatic stage where you were a fish. So that was pretty neat. And from uh, Oh my god. It was between uh, tribal and, civili and civilization. There was this other one. Oh crap, the price went down. Oh well. Oh well. So what should I... What do I want to do? Expand my territories or... Improve what I got? I think I'm going to expand my territory, so I'd like to put a... I'd like to put one of these on that planet with the yellow spice on it. Straight here. Uh, I usually try not to settle on these uh, storybook planets just because I don't want to disturb the planet, but I'm going to this time around. Screw it. If I find one this early in the game, I'm going to use it. There's not very many spice geysers on these planets, so it doesn't even make it... Like, if, if it actually made a difference whether whether or not you're near a spice geyser or not. Like, it doesn't even make that much difference. I mean, this planet's gonna make as much spice as the other, that purple planet with the, where I have the colony put on, uh, very close to four. Okay, it's too expensive. Alright, that's fine. Okay. Moving right along. Let's save first. One thing I'd like to see is uh, when uh, when your when your empire gets really really big, that you don't have to like if something happened on the other side of your your uh, gal your part of your corner of the galaxy, if something happens on a far off space station somewhere, you don't have to go traveling all the way over there to get to save them or whatever. 
I'd really like to see the place not like I wouldn't want it that I didn't have to do anything right like that. All right, let's see. I'm gonna put a. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna put a. Oh shit! I used. Oh no! I didn't use the wrong one. Oh okay. <laughs> I didn't know what was going on there. All right. Let's let's hope this works. I don't really want to go wasting these things, so if it doesn't work, I'm gonna reload to save. I'm sorry. It's this early in the game. You don't want to take any chances. And now we wait. I can't wait until we get something that actually that actually uh, just saps on your energy to use. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, that didn't work. Okay, so note to self. If I want to make this planet a T1, I'm going to have to really work for it. Okay. Whee! Circles! Okay, it's, it's turning around. Uh, let's see. This is what I'll do now. Yep, quit. Anyway, since I never had any uh, any recommendations for what I should do, uh, for now I'm just going to expand my empire. So that's just basically what's going to happen now. What's this? Oh, that's the T2. I don't know if I mentioned this in the last video. I think I did, but I can't settle this planet at all. Not because uh, it's not because it's just a special planet or whatnot. It's just because there's no spice geysers and you can't settle anywhere to where there's no spice geyser within reach. I don't get it either. I think this one might work. Let's see. I need atmosphere generator. Throw it right here. Why not? And ice storm. I'm trying to trying to get these planets into T1. If only it were this easy to do on other planets in real life, like Mars. That would be interesting. Can you imagine having to f uh, being able to fly to Mars? Come on. Come on. T1. Come on. Oh, I think I might be able to make it. Or maybe not. I'll have to wait and see. Come on. Come on. Yeah, I'm mostly doing this just to test these uh, these planets to see how hard it's going to be to get them into T1. If I can get them into T1, great. If not, well, it's not the end of the world, but yeah, I can't get that one either. Quit. <laughs> I'm sorry, at the at the beginning of this stage it's really hard to play, especially like even on easy mode like what I got it on. Like even even on easy mode it's really hard to get into into this game. Into this stage. Alright, so I'm gonna have to buy extra stuff. What's this? Oh, I see. Uh, there's a lot of creatures here in the tribal stage around me. Another one, jeez. Okay. Yeah, if I sound a little bit tired today, it's mostly because I was on call last night and I decided not to go to sleep. <laughs> I'm not the smartest one, I know. Uh... I don't know why it says you have no room to collect any more spice because they're, it's not making any spice. Well, actually, maybe if I... got an idea here. Maybe if I just go in here... Aha! I might be able to get something up into T2. Alright, so I'll drop those tree plants and then I'll stabilize. I'll stabilize the atmosphere. Let's drop one. OK. 
Okay. We're getting our atmosphere. There we go. Now that's not gonna get me into T3. So I'm just gonna get out of here. At least I got it closer to T2. That helps. Actually, I want to check something. Uh, oh no, not Sporpedia. Let me out of here. Let me out of here. Okay. My collections. I want to see what... Storybook planets. Yeah, pastry. Okay. Yeah, that's the special storybook planet I found. Yeah. Alright. Uh, I'm trying to find... If there's something here that makes me be able to store more shit, that would be great. Collector 1 or Merchant 2 badge. Increase your spaceship's cargo capacity. Okay. I want to I wanna expand this because I really don't want to be dealing with this. Avail for purchase. Find an empire that sells it. Um, collector 1 or Merchant 2. Oh, collector. Okay. So I just need to find one more artifact. What was the other one? Merchant. No. Merchant. I'd say it'd probably be easier to get the merchant one. Oddly enough. Okay, so um, anyway, next episode I'm going to be probably speeding things up. All I'm going to be doing is expanding the empire, I'm sure. I'll probably speed it up and just have something playing, some music playing in the background. And these four little planets, uh, solar systems, that's how much it takes in the actual scheme of things. Yeah. And that's not even a portion of what our galaxy is. This is actually a smaller scale. Um, hmm. Well, not very much to talk about. I guess I'm going to have to end the video here. Uh, Next time, I'm probably not going to be doing any talking. It's just going to be just a sped up me doing stuff for a while. Anyway, this is Tsukihime signing off. Have a good day.